Hey fellow world warriors, it's Angry Tartu and here we go with update to my daily reputation farming guide that I posted a while ago, but still I had no idea about exact values back then and a lot of you asked me about exact values and uh, just now I found this reddit post that you can see on the screen then credit goes to redditors and data miners that publish those information for us and those are accurate reputation values that you can get from about everything you can do at this moment to grind your reputation including all your dailies now we are here at ohio river adventures because it's like a hidden daily for raiders in this spot as well as reputable quests that you can do basically every time you jump a server but first there is black eye and what i didn't know before and some of you asked me as well uh, if you go here talk with her and she wants some my products and after you choose this option you have some selection of my products to deliver to her and it actually makes a difference if you deliver her a my queen meat it will give you 25 reputation with raiders if you choose any other option it's just 10 reputation with raiders then it's much, be much better to go for this Milo Queen meat, if you have one. That's a black eye. And here, if you run a little bit uh, farther, it's the other quest I was, I was telling you about. Fishbones will give you a quest. And this quest, defending pipe from Milo, defending this pipe, will grant you 10 reputation with raiders, and you can repeat it every time you jump a server. If you want to know a little bit more about farming this quest as other and other random encounters then i already have a video covering this in details in the video description i will give you link to the original reddit post if you want to check it out as well as my video telling about farming reputation grinding it and here another daily overseas home now one very important information if you want to get this daily you need to have camera with you before you will approach over Siri home. As you can see, I have camera, I run, and now daily photo opportunity pop up on my screen. If you do not have camera on you in your inventory, you will not get this pop up and this daily. Now, when you will speak with Davenport, it's very important. If you want to grind reputation with Crater, you choose to make photos on foundation. If you want to grind reputation with foundation, you choose to make photos of the crater. I want to grind reputation with raiders, therefore I'm choosing foundation. Now, very important warning. When I was grinding reputation on my other character for settlers, couple times I have a bug and when I grab a both dailies, I make a photos of the crater and I made daily for ward, vital equipment is the name of the daily, and I went back to ward to grab both rewards for whatever reason he didn't gave me reputation for daily vital equipment quest then what i'm doing on my other character that i'm grinding reputation with settlers i'm doing the daily photo opportunity first and then i'm doing daily forward it seems to help with that bug then daily vital equipment after i make a photos and deliver them to ward Let's snap both photos Dav Davenport asked for. When making photos, it's important that the name of the thing you need to photograph, it's on the screen in top right corner when aiming with your camera. And second photo to spam my album. And now when you grab both photos, you can see that you have an option to return them to Davenport or take them to Kayomi at the crater because I choose to grind rep with the crater I want to give those photos to Kayomi. Do not go back to Davenport. Not yet. When talking to Kayomi about those photos, it's very important that you do not take all those checks, but instead you say, I don't need caps, your friend is reward enough. This option will give you 75 reputation. And that's quite a lot. The same is true if you decide to do the opposite and take photos in, take photos of the crater and deliver them to Word. Then you still choose that you are giving them for free. And now I have importance of communication for Ren. Accepting quest is straightforward. There is no decision that you can make that will negatively affect you. 
Now when returning your quest to Ren, it's very important that you do not choose this intelligence check. You say that it's on the house. Therefore, you will get 25 extra reputation. The base value is 200. Choosing this, you will get 225 reputation. You see, my reputation went up twice. And what's important, you will still get your script and you will still get your treasure notes. What you are giving up are some caps and other junk that you do not need anyway. As you probably know for raiders, the quests are in rotation. The other one that you can get is retirement plan. If you get this one, I was doing it wrong for quite a long time. If you choose, if you get this one, you need to kill the raider, go back and say, choose an option to say that Appalachia has a new corpse. Is the option that gives you bonus 25 reputation. If you convince the raider, but using a speak check to come back to the crater, it's only 10 bonus reputation. Then you don't want to convince him, you want to kill him, come back and say that Appalachia has a new corpse. This way, you will get 25 bonus reputation. And here I can show you this option on the screen, unfortunately, because Raider Thief died. But if I will speak with him, there is an option by using Charisma check to allow him to keep the item. By choosing this option, you will get 10 reputation with the crater, but you will get zero or you will lose 10 with foundation, with settlers. Therefore, it's not a very good option. You are losing a lot with settlers if you let him keep this item. And you are gaining only 10 with raiders. When returning to ward, it's even more important than in case of raiders, because if you choose any of those options, you will get 200 reputation. If you choose, I'm donating my reward to foundation, you will get 250 reputation then it's 50 more for choosing this option. And similarly to Raiders, you will still get your script and you will still get your free treasury notes. You can see, I got script, I got reputation, and I got my treasure notes. I don't have any other reward in case of settlers, but I have the important stuff and I have reputation. And here in this table, you can now see how much reputation it is, how much reputation is required to grind from tier to another tier and to achieve ally what's the goal. And if you use all the tips I show you in this video and what's stated in here, then your chosen faction will be getting 325 reputation each day and the other faction will be getting 250 because photos you can deliver only to one of to one of the two. If you follow all of that, grind from neighborly to ally, and ally is what you want, will take you 18 days. If you don't follow it and you just do the daily straightforward, and you will earn only 200 points of reputation each day for each faction, it will take you 30 days. Then it's a significant difference in grind speed, even if you if we are talking about just dailies without grinding anything else. And here are exact values that I already told you about in this table, but what's important as well, there are random encounters, and there is a lot of random encounters, and all of them are between 10 and 25 reputation. The easiest one to farm that I already have guide about, and it will be in the video description, those are assault encounters, and if you will get faction fighting creatures, you have 10 reputation for the faction is fighting there if you help them. And if you find an event where raiders are attacking settlers and you will choose to help one of those because you can help only one of those and kill the other faction, you will get 25 reputation for that. And it's probably too late to talk about this now, but if you're still doing main quest with one of your other characters, here's exactly how much reputation you will gain or lose depending on your final decision uh, regarding gold. 
And that's it guys, hopefully it will help you grind your reputation faster and maybe easier as well to get this ally and unlock all the shops and all the new toys with the gold. I'm still on my grind, I still need, it's not too far, but I still need a little bit more to get those raiders to love me and much more to get settlers because I didn't do any main quests for them. That was my mistake, yeah I made a lot of mistakes and it's why I'm making those videos to help you to not make the same mistakes I made. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.